fucking me because of my boy. We made fun of each other. That was school, you know. That was one year. <clears throat> Some of y'all have seen this, but for greater context, watch the full video on the stitch. Sounds like a lack of accountability and a lack of personal responsibility, L'Oreal. You are ratchet, nasty ass, ghetto, hood rot. And you got too many surgeries. You look, I mean, like, like y'all talk about Michael Jackson. Some of y'all had talked about Michael Jackson, but she has, it's like, obviously, she trying to explain herself instead of just saying, I apologize, I'm my bad, and repent. But see, this is a narcissist. This is, she's giving me, uh, narcissist. See, I'm paying attention to the, her, how she explains stuff, and she thinks she didn't do nothing wrong. See, bullies don't care. And the fact that she was just trying to get clout off of his success and trying to say, yo, we were, we were cool, that's a lie. If you watch that interview on that red carpet, you can tell that, you can see Michael B. Jordan was being respectful and professional but the fact that she had the audacity to try to claim that, oh, we were friends, you know, we used to do this and that, we, and, and it's like he checked her on it. And then she tried to say both made fun of now, It seems to me, L'Oreal, that you made, you disrespected him. You know, there's a difference between cracking, you know, making jokes and sometimes, but you re relentlessly insulted him, disrespected him, demeaned him, antagonized him and you know you can get away with that because you're a female because they're all female bullies you know you got simps behind you you got the feminists you got you got, you got the grenocracy behind you and you got these anti-black misandry laws you know that protect women protect hood rats hoes and tricks she trying to explain it away is so sad and she wonder why she is struggling. This is a see your lack of accountability is the reason why you you just you will always be a jump off. This is why you struggle like Ebony K. Williams did them, which and and you wonder why you are single and frustrated and you gotta work multiple gigs. That means you are failing. That's why you don't have no husband. Because you wasted your best year being a side chick and being overly hypergamous. And your narcissism didn't help the outcomes of your failures.